What's up guys, Oscar Gomez here from Master Automotive Training, smartautotraining.com. It's Tuesday guys, so it can only mean one thing, Tech Tip Tuesday. So on today's Tech Tip Tuesday, we're gonna be talking about aftermarket air intakes. So go ahead and stay tuned guys, Tech Tip Tuesday starts right now. You ever get those cars that come in with an aftermarket air intake? <laughs> then you scratch your head like, uh, what do I do now? Don't even worry about it. The Beer of Automotive Repair says that if the vehicle is a 1995 and older, non-thermostatically air cleaned, they can have an aftermarket air intake system without having to comply with California regulations. So this means that the vehicle doesn't have to have an EO number. So what's an EO number? An executive order number. That's basically stating that the state of California has tested the component and it meets emission requirements for the state of California. So that component on a 1995 and older vehicle, if it's an aftermarket air intake, you don't need an EO number. As long as everything's properly connected, you're ready to go. The car passes. If the vehicle's 1996 and newer, unfortunately, yes, it's going to need an EO number. So if it doesn't have an EO number, you have a couple of options. One. You can do some due diligence for the customer, go online, go to the manufacturer's website, try to find the part number, cross-reference the part number to the EO number, then verify the EO number on the ARB's website, which is arb.ca.gov. If you can do that successfully, and then you can determine that the part is approved to be installed on the vehicle, print that out, keep that with your work order, vehicle inspection report, and your tech notes, this way, if for some reason the state comes back and wants to know information on that car, you have the documentation to prove it. If the vehicle is a diesel, those do not require EO numbers at all. So if it's an aftermarket air intake system on a diesel, you can't fail it if it doesn't have an EO number because it's not required. So you want to make sure that when you're doing your visual inspection, you know based off of the year, make, model, and of course, is it gas or diesel? you're gonna know whether you need to verify the emission component or not. So make sure that you're not failing cars unnecessarily because that can lead to get you into some trouble. So make sure that you guys are verifying the information. If the information matches, then go ahead and enter your prompt properly into the DAD or the Bar 97. One thing I wanna tell you guys is every Tuesday we're gonna be giving you guys these tech tip videos. Make sure you guys are staying tuned. Let the entire industry know that these videos are here to help you guys because I want you guys to be the best smog technicians you can possibly be. If you guys like my videos, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. If you don't like them, let me know why you don't like them and let's see what we can do to fix that. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, our YouTube channel, and you're not following us on Instagram, make sure you guys are doing so so that way you guys can stay up to date and always being the best automotive technician you can be. And as I always say guys, a good technician's always learning. Signing off here, Oscar Gomez, smartautotraining.com.